G'day, Fine and Joe crew, and welcome to another episode. It's been far due. We are down here at Portsea, Portsea Pier, and we are going diving for scallops today. So I've just parked the car. We're going to head over now and join up with Luke, who's just kind enough to grab me a latte. And unfortunately, not joined by the cap today. The cap's at home. Uh, he's not sick. He's fine. Just had the opportunity to uh, film a little documentary this morning, but now we're going scallops. Quite a few of our episodes, we normally say some stupid lines, and one of those lines being, if Luke, if you're out there, keep warm. That's Luke. Hey guys, I'm warm. You plan on getting the bag? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Get a hundred. A hundred? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm hopeful. Yeah, scallops. Up. Scallops? Yes. Yes. And we're going to go home and shack them and cook them. I go scallop diving maybe at least, at least once a month. Um, the, the, pain, the pain is really just cleaning them. But, uh, but they are the most precious, the best scallops going around. You can't get any better. Oh, a few scallops, I think. Yeah, I'll just go for, go for a quick dive and see what we find. And you have some pippy shells. Have you promised anybody dinner tonight? No, no, not that silly. No. <laughs> Very good. Have you shut scallops before? No. I can tell because it's a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a scallop dive and not found scallops. Yeah, who's the better scallop catcher of the two of you? Well, I've never we'll done find it. Out. Yeah. You've done it before. Haven't you? I have, yes. Alice is a bit of a, a forager. Yeah. He's taking up hunting and things like that. Being on the top of it. Catching some fish. Yep. And obviously you're going to get him to shuck them today because that's how you learn, isn't it? Oh, it's not fun. Now you showed us how to shuck it with the um, knife under to cut the muscle. Yeah. But I don't have one of those beautiful old bread and butter knives. The, the dredging stopped. I think that was the best thing for Port Phillip Bay. Was uh, when all that stopped, um, you know, we, we got a whole load of more marine life dolphins. You know, seals were seen more, more and more. Uh, sort of the couple years after it stopped. But yeah, it's pretty hard not to find scallops everywhere down there. So, what are we? Uh, trip number three of this boat for the day. Uh, the other boats off doing their third trip as well. This one's a scallop trip. So you can see the guys behind us getting geared up now. We're heading out to one of the scallop locations that we've got uh, here in Port Phillip Bay. Some of the best oysters available. Uh, they used to be dredged commercially up until about 1992. Then all the dredging was stopped. And it's only recently they've allowed uh, collection by hand on a commercial level um, for the scallops that go out to all the restaurants and get exported. However, today what we're doing is a recreational scallop trip. If you have your scuba diving ticket, minimum open water 18 metres, plus a fishing licence, um, and you're obviously current, you've dived recently, you can come and get yourself up to 100 of these magnificent Port Phillip uh, scallops. We did a night dive with Luke about a week ago. Yeah, yeah, very similar thing, it's very exciting to watch everyone sort of getting the gear on, getting ready, getting the patient, excitement levels. Just take your arm out of here. Your safety stop. Remember, you are going to be negatively buoyant if you're doing this correctly. You're going to have a bag full of scallops and you're going to be heavier than normal. So make sure your buddy's aware that if you're going to connect the scallops bag to yourself, that if you've got a, an issue and you need to ditch your weights, that you're going to have to not only ditch your weights, but ditch the scallops as well. So hold your stops and then come to the surface. Now, when you get to the surface, make sure you keep all your equipment in place because you're going to be heavy because of your scallops, yeah? Listening for boats before you break the surface. And then when you get to the surface, look for us, give us a big okay and we'll come and get you. Go, go, go. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. 
Okay. And clear prop. All right, guys, make your way to the back. Okay, two divers ready. And go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, good stuff, guys. Keep going. Divers ready. Judith and Alistair, go, go, go. Good job, guys. Happy hunting. What's up, Ryan? Yep. Go, go, go. Keep going. Good job. Clear prop. How'd you go, your bag out? Awesome, yeah, really good. <laughs> That's the right, at least you got dinner. Yeah, exactly. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, mum will be happy, eh? Yeah. We've only got a set amount of time to sort of get as many as we can, but, um, but yeah, no, it was, it was awesome fun. It's good. Oh, These guys got all the scallops, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. Are we going straight? Cheers, yeah. cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Best scallop for the bread <laughs> Thank you very much. There we go. And you got some bay oysters in here as well. Yeah. So there's the scallop. There's a bay oyster. You need a sledgehammer to get them open. We'll do it back at the pier. So we're going to relocate the octopus to Porti Pier. We're going to relocate the puss. We're <laughs> brought. <laughs> Alright. It's a little baby. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a baby octopus. It's on a... Not the blurring. Pull it out. Far out. How small is it? Two days. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Clear prop. Put a pop in your mouth. He's trying to yeah. scoot. <laughs> 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 he wants to go back in the water. Yeah. There you go. Here that's a little one. Yeah. Hard to get the little suckers? Freaking hard. Oh, it's like a desert and then you just kind of come across a couple and then. Visibility any good? <laughs> no. Not great views, yeah. but then again. But that's what you want, apparently. That's what we got. So, we've got a few in there, some with some growths on them, some without, but I don't know. There might be 30 in there. No, I just, both of them were on the surface, weren't they? Yeah. You know, we, everybody that comes diving with us, A is certified and B is current, i.e. they've been diving within a reasonable period. Um, and all the dives that people select 
uh, within their certification level. It's impossible for someone to book on to a dive that's above their certification level without them actively bullshitting about it. Um, but then what happens when they get underwater, we can't really control what they do. Um, and we do see some pretty shitty diving practice. And this is not great diving practice. I think what's probably happened is these guys have dropped something, dropped a bag, and they're trying to get back and uh, trying to find it or something. Brock, can you change your tank over for your first dive, please, for the Canberra J4? So what I'm doing now, I'm already thinking ahead that Blair, uh, Brock's on the other boat for the next trip, and we're gonna get back late because of these uh, two guys overstaying the runtime. And so I'm thinking ahead, I might have to do a water to water transfer with Brock onto the other boat. So I'll get him to change one tank, keep his empty tank here, I'll get rid of that for him and then move his other stuff over by him. Thank you. So Brock's on another dive, is he? Yeah, Brock's doing the double camber J4 wreck. So he's going to dive on the shipwreck. Um, the HMS Canberra, 136 metre guided missile destroyer, sunk in 2009. And then the second dive of that double dive is the J4 submarine, which is a British World War I submarine sunk in 1925 on purpose, along with four other submarines to dive on out there, and then found again in 1982. How'd you go, guys? All right, get you put your mask on and your rig in your mouth and your rig in your mouth for me. We'll get you up the ladders. So I found the divers. Unfortunately, when Luke's talking about the bag, he means the... SMB. The SMB. Submersible the, marker. The, submersible marker boy. Submersible marker boy, which you'll see shooting out of the water. Obviously, to let Luke know that you're actually in the water. And easily spotted. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know why they didn't sit there. Hey, Joel. Thomas. Joel. Andrew. Yep. Judith. Yep. Alistair. Fantastic. All right, guys, just make sure your gear's secure. We're going to head back to Porty. All right, guys, um, if you want, just before you go, I'll show you how to shuck a skull quickly. That'll save you a shitload of time. Super, super easy way. So have you got a knife handy, anyone? We are going to shuck a scallop. So this is the humble scallop. Got a bumpy side and a flat side. This knife here is the worst possible fucking knife well, to shuck. <laughs> That's right. The best knife to shuck scallops is a bread and butter knife. So just go up to Portsy Pub, get an overpriced palmer, take the knife with you. And what you do is you get the knife and you bend it like that. So that the top parts bend. Yep. Just a little kink like that. And what we're going to do, we go in through here, but we're not going to, we're not levering the shell open. What we're doing is we're actually slicing down. There's a muscle on this side and a muscle on this side. So we're just gonna slice this muscle here like that. Put your finger in so you can see the row there and the filter. Put our thumb in there and open it up. There we go. Get rid of that part. I've actually done really well because I've taken the stomach off. That's the stomach there, the black part. And uh, we've taken the row off as well, unfortunately. Throw that in with the sunglasses that just fell off the boat. Come around here, and then this little muscle down here. Cut and go across, and job done. There we go, chuck that in your mouth. No. Yeah. Seriously. There's a fresh one you ever have. Oh yes, he is allergic to them. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well, Give it to the anaphylactic guy. We'll do, uh, we'll do one more quickly because that one sort of stuff up, but you can, uh, you can do them really quick. That's something I do to the cat. Once again, we go in through the little gap there, just looking to shear that muscle off. So we're not leveraging open, just shear, shear, shear. Job done. Finger in, get rid of that one. Some people clean this up and love to serve them in the um in the shell like that on the barbecue you can just put them in the barbecue put a bit of wusser a bit of bacon a bit of chili a bit of garlic a bit of salt a bit of pepper whatever all right so here we go we're going to get rid of the stomach so peel the apple that's good i've done get it off the boat lift up the row and we're going to push all that out and then cut down the little muscle there 
and job done. Bloody nice. I'll eat that too. Go on. Go on. Yeah, one of you guys. There, you yep. there we go. Straight down the hatch. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yep. Mm. So this amount of scallops here in this bag, that's about two beers worth of shucking. <laughs> right? Oh, you should be able to yeah. do that in two beers. <laughs> She's just asked oh, for nuts. Oh my god, I just ruined that. She just said, can I have some nuts? <laughs> you want some nuts? There's plenty of nuts on board. Yeah, well, there we go. Good job. What have we got here in, as an estimation of price, Luke? Uh, well, I think at Jim's Fish and Chip Shop in Blackburn South, when I grew up, it was about two bucks a scallop. So your limit's a hundred. So there's 200 bucks worth of scallops. They're fresher than you're ever going to get. And... You've caught them yourself. That's the fun part. That is the fun part. So for a $75 dive, uh, you and your best mate, if you're not popular at home, you can be by catching scallops. We always do a lot of trips just before Christmas. Um, people want their Christmas scallops. Um, it's a really sustainable way of fishing as well. And they taste great. Luke's about to show us. Which he's already done already, but he's gonna do it again for the third time. And that's Lani. Lani's just come on board just to steal nuts. That's she, it. She I'm likes hungry. nuts I'm apparently. Cold. I'm hungry and cold. Hungry and cold. She likes a bit of nuts. She's got a hanging for nuts. All right. We're going to do some fresh scallops. So we've been out for the whole afternoon. Divers have been down there doing all the hard work for us. Now we're about to enjoy the rewards. Enjoy the spoils, as they say. Shit, we work smart, don't we? Yeah, well, we that's, work really that's, smart. that's the best way to do it, isn't it? Get other people to go, <laughs> dive down there, and get me the scallops. There we go. Personal. All right, so we're going to check the scallop again. Leave it open. Get rid of that part. And a little one, this one. Get rid of the stomach. Put the row, push that around. Cut that down. Job done. Down yeah, the hatch. Solid. Here you go. Oh, I'm going to try it. I've actually never tasted fresh corn. It's actually quite good. Yeah, it is quite good. It is quite good. I'm very surprised. You get those directions mixed up, or you can end up underneath a big container ship that's just coming in. Go. Oh, stay there. I'm gonna do a straight swap. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you want to check out more awesome content, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to check out and see what we're up to on a daily basis, then you can check out our socials down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you somewhere out there in the big blue.